In our last video, we spent the day exploring Kalawit Safari Park in Buswanga, Philippines. It honestly felt like we had stepped into Africa. We pick up as we're headed back across to the mainland. All right, I just arrived and looking forward to another another two hours of motorcycle. It won't be that long. We're not gonna take the same route back. Hopefully. And also thank you to our boatman, Kuya. Mai Mai po, Mai Mai. Mai Mai! Hi! <laughs> Thank you, Kuya. Thank you. Oh, we need to pay still. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go up here. We pay. We pay. Uh, we pay him, not up there. Yeah. Cody still wants to see the box jellyfish yeah, because he missed it when Kuya pointed it. Ah, so clean. Big one. There's also a small one. That's that's a big. It's a box jellyfish. It's a big one. Ah, it's clear sometimes. Yeah, it's supposed to. Yeah. Ah, it's too windy and then wavy. Ah, it's worse. Oh, bad. I'm Cody and I'm Izai. We're a Filipino American couple who actually met on Tinder during my first time in the Philippines all the way back in 2017. Since 2020, we've been living together on the island of Cebu with our 10 cats, hunting down hidden spots and beautiful hotels on the weekend. Now we're on to our greatest adventure yet. Exploring the jaw-dropping municipalities of Coron and Buswanga in the province of Palawan. Alright guys, we are just finishing here at the safari. Oh hello. I did not we don't have any food doggy. That's actually what I was about to say. We need to go find food. <laughs> Isa and I haven't eaten since our free breakfast this morning and it is it's afternoon. Because it took us a lot longer to get up here than expected since we got lost. If you didn't see that video, yeah, we got a little lost coming up here. So we're gonna head back and try to look for food along the way. There's, I don't think there's much up here. We may just end up with like a carinderia. It's okay. We just gotta find something. Dogie, I'm sorry we don't have anything. Maybe next time. We just needed to find anything to eat on the way home and the closest town is Salvation in Buswanga. So we turned to get gas and then as we were turning we saw this place, Sakura. Sakura bar and restaurant. Isa keeps saying Sakura-chan because we've been watching Naruto. <laughs> but Sakura actually means cherry blossoms. But this place doesn't actually look that bad. We were willing to get, I mean, we were willing to settle basically because we're so hungry, like settle for something, whatever. But looking at the menu and just they already, like the service already and inside. They actually have a lot of things, a lot of um, options. options. Yeah, they have so many options, like Filipino options, Japanese options, Western options, and then just other random options. It seems really good, but let's see how the food is. As you guys know, that's what's most important. Okay, say Sakura-chan. <laughs> we moved upstairs. I just happened to notice somebody coming down from up here and I'm like, is there a place up there? And these I asked and honestly I was shocked when we walked up here. There's way more up here. And it turns out right behind us is an like inn. It says summer what is it? White Summerville Tourist Inn. White Summerville. Never heard of it. The vibe here is so much better. Actually, because I saw that it says Sakura Bar and Resto. And then I was like, why is this, why is the space so small for a bar? So, and then yeah, we noticed that people are coming up and down the stairs. So I asked the staff if there's, there are tables up here. And yeah, look at this. There's a lot of people up here. And I don't know, I really like the vibe and also the customer service uh, from the moment we arrived, uh, they are so accommodating, they are so, um, they're just, I don't know, it just, they just seem so kind. 
looks good. I really like the presentation. Yeah. Okay, so the presentation is awesome. Was Like I said, we just stopped here looking for anything. We're like, let's see what they've got. We'll eat anything at this point. And it's like, I'm super surprised. Let's try these nachos. Not your typical Mexican nachos. There's like garlic on it, and the cheese is different. It's not, yeah, it's not gonna, it's not like uh, your Mexican nachos. And there's a little kick, a little spice. It's not much, but it's really good actually. I really like it. Like I'm not complaining when I say that. It's good. And now, because we're eating a Japanese meal, we say. Itadakimasu! Yeah, the more I eat it, you're right that there's like a spaghetti like quality to the nacho. Mm. But I still like it. How's your sushi? Good. It's a sushi. Chicken karaage, which is essentially just like Japanese fried chicken basically. So hot, mm. so fresh, it's nice, it's really good. I'm so shocked by this meal. Busuanga and Coron are just constantly, literally constantly surprising us. Like, I feel like I've stopped at so many like little random restaurants along the side of the road, like just checking the menu, like oh, does this look good, I don't know, and it's like never turns out like this. Like a total shock with this place. Japanese food is actually um, my favorite food, to be honest. But because Cody doesn't like Japanese food, so I don't eat it that much. I'm coming around on Japanese food. Right? I'm learning more and more thanks to abroad in Japan. I've been watching him a lot. He's been opening my eyes. Um, it's just it's more of that. What's, what I don't like is seafood. And there's a lot of seafood in Japanese food, so I often avoided it. But I want to try more and more Japanese food moving forward. I'm just a little scared of the seafood still, so I'm gonna kind of go around that for now. But we were driving through this other road, and I saw the sign that says Sanctuary Tree Houses, and then we saw this one by the road. I don't think this is the same thing, but yeah, it's a tree house of some kind. Honestly, there was a place where you could go down. It said like. 25 pesos for locals, 50 pesos for foreigners that like go down to the beach. But I feel like we must have already passed it. I was really thinking about stopping there because the sun's starting to set. But I guess we passed it. Maybe. I'm not sure how I missed it. I was looking the whole time. But we haven't driven this part, I don't think. I don't remember seeing that for sure. We're still just headed back to Coron. And uh, we know our day's pretty much done. So we're just like, we don't have to rush for anything. We already flew the drone once, but we saw this area. Seems like a perfect place to fly again. It's really beautiful. Not sure if you can tell from the GoPro, but let's switch over to a quick montage on the drone and see how it is. At first we flew the drone here at this little town by the ocean because we thought it just looked really nice and peaceful. It's just a small stop with nothing but locals here right as sunset was coming in. It just looked so beautiful as we were driving through. I had to pull over and put the drone up. Yeah, but here, this one's actually fluid from up in the mountains. You can see the rice fields, and I thought the road like snaking through the mountains looked so nice. So much of this highway looks so similar to this. I had to get that shot. <laughs> following behind. We tried so long to get this because cars just kept coming. Oh yeah, and then these, these kids ran up with their dog. It was so cute. They were like so interested in the drone. But then of course, as soon as you start pointing it at them, they get a little shy. <laughs> but they still got a wave in there. So we were just trying to find the drone and these kids ran up to watch. Sometimes that happens here when you're flying. Yeah, they want to see the video because I filmed some video with them, as you can see here. But the app on the phone, it takes a while to process the cache so that you can actually watch it again, which really sucks. Next time na lang, next time. Next time? <laughs> Look at this puppy. Yay!
Hello. <laughs> they said his name's Fighter. Very cute. So we're like almost home. We're literally three minutes from home. And our front tire suddenly just went completely flat out of nowhere. They think we hit a, we took it to a vulcanizing shop and they think we hit a nail and there's no sealant in it because it's a tubeless tire. Just driving through the Coron town. And we were very close. We were talking about just bringing it back to the place where we rented it, but they have a sign that says like, we saw it before we left. It says that like if anything happens with the tires, or any, it literally says any vulcanizing is needed, that it falls on the renter, not the rental company. So we went ahead and just stopped and asked. They're gonna, I guess, try to put sealant in it and then see if that fixes it. That's what we had to do with our bike before. I don't think we were vlogging when it happened. We hit a screw, but we had sealant, so it was fine. But apparently this one doesn't have. Didn't have a real dinner. Just had that at Sakura bar and restaurant, which was like a, it was like in between lunch and dinner. So we had shakes. I had a chocolate shake and Izai has been a little more healthy with the mango shake. This is just at our own. Resort. We've got a little ways to go just to get to the waterfall. Years of hunting down hidden waterfalls did not go to waste. It's a really gorgeous, picturesque site. Guys, check out what we found on our way back to the barn. American Pie, <laughs> Naked Mile. 